हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्वीटी स्पीक्स ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम स्वीटी पंजानी एंड वी आर इनसाइड सिस्टम वेरीलॉग इसेंशियल सीरीज द मेन एम ऑफ द सीरीज इज टू हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वी एल एस आई कॉन्सेप्ट इन वेरी ईजी लैंग्वेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल पीपल फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड सम कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक सिस्टम वेरी लॉग रीजन्स प्रोग्राम ब्लॉक क्लॉकिंग ब्लॉक इंटरफेस मॉट पोर्ट्स वर्चुअल इंटरफेस एंड अदर सिस्टम वेरी लॉग कॉन्सेप्ट वॉट आई हैव डन इज आई हैव ट्राइड टू एक्सप्लेन ऑल दीज कॉन्सेप्ट इन वेरी सिंपल लैंग्वेज सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड ईजीली एंड आई एम इवन ट्राइंग टू कवर एग्जाम्पल्स एंड ईच एंड एवरी लाइन ऑफ कोड ऑल्सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इन वेरी वेरी ईजी लैंग्वेज today's topic will be based on virtual interface please understand this is the continuation of previous lectures in this series by sweety pinjani the series name is sweety's uh, inside sweety speaks official youtube channel you will find system verilog essentials where i have also uploaded the video lectures on interface mod ports i have also shown how you can do memory design and verification wherein we have used interface and mod ports please go through those previous video lectures because this virtual interface is a continuation you should understand what is interface what is mod port how to use it for design and verification and then come to virtual interface if you have not already gone through please go through those lectures also now let's get started with virtual interface first thing to understand is what is virtual interface we know what is interface now virtual interface is nothing but it it you can take it as a pointer or a variable that represents an interface if you know c c++ all these things you would know what is a pointer so think of it as a pointer to an interface it acts as an handle to an interface it is not a physical interface it points to the physical interface that's how it works some other features of interface are you can pass it as an argument to your task and function you will have a lot of task and functions in your test bench in different classes of your test bench may be driver monitor scoreboard you can pass your virtual interface as an argument to these then you can also access all your interface variables and methods that your virtual interface is pointing to virtual interface is a pointer but it will point to some physical interface in that interface there will be some variables there will be some methods if you point your virtual interface to that particular physical interface all the variables all the methods inside it will be accessible to you via the virtual interface next important thing is it is possible that your virtual interface is representing different interface instance at different times in your simulation because it is a virtual interface it is a pointer pointer can change at one point it will point to some some instance of physical interface at another point it can point to some other instance of the physical interface that is possible now let's understand the concept of virtual interface diagrammatically i had explained you the concept of interface diagrammatically it is nothing but a connecting bridge between your design and test bench now how is virtual interface difference so here you have your design and this is how your physical interface was there it was connecting your design and here was the test bench now what will happen in this interface will be connected to your virtual interface this virtual interface will be there inside your test bench there are various classes inside your test bench like driver monitor scoreboard you will define your virtual interface there you will have a declaration of your virtual interface there 
and to that you will connect your physical interface this is how you can understand diagrammatically now you need to understand how will you use a virtual interface let me tell you first thing is if you want to use a virtual interface you have to initialize it what do you mean by initializing a virtual interface virtual interface is nothing but a pointer to your interface it means as soon as you connect or point your virtual interface to the actual interface your initialization is done first step will be you need to connect it or point it to the actual interface you can also initialize it in the procedural block or inside a constructor uh, there are a lot of classes in test bench like driver, monitor, scoreboard in which you will use the virtual interface. In that you will also have a constructor new. We had talked about this constructor in detail in the system Verilog op series that is also uploaded in Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel. If you have not already gone through, go through system Verilog op series where we have covered the concept of constructor new operator is used for the constructor so either in the procedural block also or inside the constructor you can initialize it that is also possible these are two ways you have to connect it to actual interface or you can also initialize it inside the constructor or procedural block but you need to initialize what happens if you access if you try to access an uninitialized virtual interface if you try to do this it will result in a runtime fatal error because if it is not pointing to anything what will you access that's why it results in a fatal error at the runtime itself now let us move further and we will understand what are the operators which we can use with the virtual interface you can use these operators assignment which is equal to you can use equality which is equal equal or you can use inequality which is not equal and these operators can be used with you will have a virtual interface and you can have another virtual interface of same type same type means it should point to the physical interface instance of same type this virtual interface and another virtual interface of same type which is pointing to the same type of physical interface instance instance will be different but the type of the interface will be same second it is possible you will compare this virtual interface with an interface instance of same type another virtual interface of same type or even the physical interface not virtual interface but the interface itself also you can compare next is it you can also compare with null if the virtual interface is not pointing to anything it is not connecting to anything then it will be equal to null all these operations are possible with your virtual interface next thing to understand is what is the need of virtual interface I already have physical interface. Why am I adding more complication? Why am I adding one more concept in system very log? Why do I even need to have a virtual interface? For this, you need to understand about the classes. That's why I am telling there is a system very log OOP series which is uploaded. Please go through it so that you understand about the classes and objects. Now, one thing which you have to understand very carefully is classes are dynamic objects are dynamic they are not static they will change at the runtime anything which changes at the runtime is dynamic it is not static but your physical interface is static the variables inside your interface the functions inside your interface will not change during the runtime it will remain same your class objects can change during the runtime that's why it is dynamic now this is the complication your interface your physical interface is static and your classes which you use in the test bench like driver monitor scoreboard we have a lot of classes right all these are dynamic static 
interface and dynamic class how is it complicating things the problem is you are not allowed to declare anything which is static inside your dynamic class because dynamic means it can change at the runtime and static means it can't change at the runtime this is con this is contrasting you can't have something that is constant inside something that is changing very simple logic that is why you cannot use your physical interface inside your dynamic class this is the complication so what we will do one solution is we will refer or point to the interface using a virtual interface pointers are dynamic because during the runtime at one moment i can point my virtual interface to one uh, phys if one physical interface instance then again during the runtime i can point it to another instance it means virtual interface is dynamic so i can use virtual interface to point to my actual interface and i can use that in my classes that becomes very easy this is the main need if somebody ask you and you really have very good grip on system very low concepts you understand things in deep you will clearly answer the main need of interfaces virtual interfaces because your interface is static your classes are dynamic you cannot have static interface inside dynamic class that's why you use virtual interface which is a pointer and since that pointer is dynamic you can use it within the class that will solve your problem this is the correct answer now let's move on we will understand how will we access the interface the physical interface using your virtual interface so here are the steps follow all these steps the first step will be you need to declare an interface whatever physical interface is there you need to declare it first you need to specify what are the variables inside that interface if it has some mod ports what are those mod ports if there are some task and functions you need to declare it properly once you declare you have to also declare a virtual interface of the same type as your physical interface this point is very important your virtual interface which needs to point to your physical interface should be of the type of your physical interface type should be same next is you have to connect your virtual interface to actual interface using an assignment or the constructor argument this initialization we had already talked about you need to either connect it or point it to the physical interface or you can also do it using the constructor argument in which you do the initialization but the main thing is virtual interface should be initialized once all this is done you will be able to access all the all the variables and all the methods inside your physical interface by using the virtual interface handle because this virtual interface is pointing to your physical interface these are the steps declare the physical interface first then declare the virtual interface initialize the virtual interface once this is done you can access the signals and methods inside your physical interface by using the virtual interface handle simple steps now let us understand how we will declare we will understand with the help of a simple code this is the physical interface which i have declared i am using some signals from apb protocol this is related to apb protocol so i have named it as apb if which stands for apb interface it has one input clock which is one bit signal clock it has three other signals one is 32 bit address 32 bit write data and a valid signal which will tell whether your data is valid or not you can go through apb protocol you will understand these signals we will also cover apb protocol in detail we'll have a tutorial on that also in sweety speaks official youtube channel as i said we will cover everything gradually all these things will be available but for now you can search it online you will get the idea what are the different signals in apb and what 
are these signals address w data and p1 so this is my apb interface and now i want to create a virtual interface which is pointing to this physical interface this is how you do you have to use the keyword virtual which says it's a virtual interface then as i said if you want to point your virtual interface to this particular physical interface what type what is the name of this interface apb if so this virtual interface should be of type apb if only that's why this is the type it is of type apb if and the name of your virtual interface is apb vir it means this particular virtual interface can point to any instance of this physical interface only this is how we declare and use a virtual interface i hope now virtual interface is very clear in your mind in the upcoming sessions we will see more examples more codes where we will use vir virtual interface there will be some uh, good level of coding which we will do and by that you will understand the practical application also to stay tuned to all such quality content on vlsi which is easily understandable you need to subscribe to sweety speaks official youtube channel and you need to turn on your notifications thank you and see you in the upcoming lecture